Hello, brothers and sisters of the Nurblot race. Today's pre-invasion instructional video will instruct you on the intricacies of human mating behavior. The human, Homo sapien, third most intelligent earth creature behind the dolphin and the childproof calf. Observe this typical example of the human male as he goes about his morning routine. This often involves a battle with the childproof calf. As with most species on the planet Earth, excluding the childproof cap, humans have two genders. Note that the female has long hair and swollen mammary glands. These are two essential physical traits that identify a female. Watch as our human behavioral specialist, equipped with the latest human infiltration suit, enters the room. Having spent many weeks living among the humans, he is able to quickly identify the gender of each human and moves to engage the human female. Morning, Edward. Good morning, human female. It is important to engage in what humans call small talk. I tell you every morning I have a name. It's Mary. Use it. Understood. I see you're preparing the customary chicken embryos. Yes. Scrambled eggs. Would you like some or not? The human female has offered food to our specialist. Humans often consume food together as a part of the courtship ritual known as a date. Affirmative. Having consumed food together, the date is completed. It is now customary for the human male to use what is called a pickup line to alert the female to the fact that he would like to begin mating. Human female, what has two thumbs and wants to sleep with you? Huh? This guy. That's great, Edward. Our specialist has been rejected by the human female. So, Mr. DJ, do you have a show tonight? You mean, does the show have me, Jesse Sampson? I'm not even try talking to you. If your target fails to respond to a pickup line, search for and remove the largest single distraction before trying again. Bye, Jess. Go check yourself, no love. Here, our specialist has discovered the reason for the female's previous rejection. Humans often form gender-opposite pairs. Good luck with your show tonight. For sure. Later. So I see your female has left the residence. Undaunted, our behavioral specialist attempts to use this knowledge to his advantage. Often, when one member of a mated pair engages in mating behavior with an individual outside of the pair, the mated pair will, as humans call it, break up. Swing that way, bro. Ah! Ah! Remember not to give up if your first attempt to remove a distraction is not successful. Try to be more creative in your methods. With the primary distraction removed, our specialist prepares a meal for the female in order to resume the courtship rituals. Has Jess returned from his show yet? Nope. Whatever. What are you making? I've constructed a meal so that we may resume our date from earlier this morning. Um, you know, we didn't really... But she's already got a date. With who? Jesse is no longer present. Jesse? Ew, no! That's gross! Why would I date my brother? When eliminating distractions, it may be helpful to remember that humans outside of Alabama 
will not mate with close relatives. This human, despite being easily identified as male due to the short hair and lack of mammary gland swelling, has displayed none of the required mating rituals. Can you give me an aspirin, love? Alright, sure thing, babe. The female's choice of this human as her partner can only represent a complete lack of understanding of her own race's mating requirements. Despite having the physical signs indicating male gender, this human has defeated a childproof cap. Males, having the majority of their brains situated below the belt, would be unable to undertake such a task. If the mating is to be successful, the female's mistake must be corrected. Human female, you seem to have overlooked a very important fact. That is a female! Uh, yeah, I am. And? Two females can't reproduce. This is an unsuitable choice in a mating partner. Dude, your roommate's nuts. I, however, am sufficiently equipped as a male of your species. Thus, I am the wisest choice in a mating partner. I've never heard it put that way. Let us commence and begin the mating process immediately. I really don't think this roommate thing is going to work. I don't know what planet you're from, but around here we don't get involved in each other's sex lives, and we pay the rent. So, tell our viewers what they should take away from this training video. Human mating behavior is completely irrational. As such, they are best left to their own eventual enslavement by the childproof cap.